Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Abel's for Thomas, and on this Throwback Thursday, we're going to go ahead and go back to Halo Reach. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a few of my unreleased invasion maps, so the, that's really exciting. And uh, we're going to have a great funny clip for you guys. And uh, this week, we're going to go ahead and skip the Forge trick, just simply because, you know, we showed you all the stuff you can do in Reach, so there's no real point in uh, visiting that, you know. There's plenty of videos you guys can watch on that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the clip now, and this is courtesy of the Halo Whalement. So, it, it just really shows you what happens when, 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 when great strategy goes, goes horribly, horribly wrong. So, uh, first map we're going to look at is called Transgressions. And this is a Spartan offense map that takes place on the Gulch. And the first thing you're going to notice is that it's freaking huge. And uh, it's basically the biggest invasion map me and Yarbird had have, uh, have ever built. And uh, interesting enough, it's actually the first uh, invasion map me and Yarbird ended up co-forging together before we were even commentating on the channel. Um, we ended up having to ditch the project uh, because we had a lot of issues. We had a lot of a frame rate, a lot of geometry issues, things we, we didn't know how to solve, and uh, we ended up building overgrowth from what was left of transgressions. Um, and then after overgrowth was finished, and after we got a lot of feedback from matchmaking, we got a, we learned a lot of new things about invasion after that, and just generally through our experience of building overgrowth, we learned a lot. So we were able to go back to transgressions, we were able to go back to the cool concept and kind of rebuild the entire map. And uh, it was kind of, it was a really fun experience kind of revisiting that concept and um, realizing how much we grew as forgers. And, uh, and then, then trying to grow some more as forgers, so it was, it was a lot of fun to rebuild. Um, now as you can see first here, you're kind of fighting over this abandoned generator, uh, just kind of on the outskirts of this facility. And there's a lot of really cool dynamic cover that allows players to, to kind of move around, try to get new angles around on the map. And uh, we wanted more, uh, more structure as opposed to our usual first tiers of mainly rocks, so we tried to do something a little different there. Now as we take a look at second tier, the first thing you're going to notice is that the Wraith is in play. So the Wraith is a really big influence on the second tier, but Spartans do have the ordinance to take it out. So it's kind of like a new objective on second tier where elites are really encouraged to defend their power vehicle as well as the objective. As well as another twist, the tank becomes available on third tier, and it is just a powerhouse, and it's just a lot of fun. The, the, the elites also get the Banshee third tier, so there's lots of heavy vehicle play, lots of heavy weapon play, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Really fast-paced, frantic action. Um, now, it may seem really large, it may seem like it's very difficult to move around the map, but there's lots of really powerful power positions that allow Spartan fire teams to kind of secure routes for their teammates. So this kind of works differently from general invasion maps because Spartans are encouraged to take either the ridge or the main hill or the central structure to then support their other teams as they move across the map and move towards the objectives. So it's, it's something that's a little different and it, and it kind of, it's like a secondary objective that kind of pulls you away and, and grows the metagame a little bit. So as you can see here, uh, we have the little core mounting and uh, we have uh, an elite that was crafty enough to steal the laser. Um, but as you can see, there's just all sorts of ways up to the top of the structure to get that core, and the uh, the Spartans are actually making a really good push now with that rocket launcher, and they were able to actually clear out that core and pull it off the uh, the housing just with that rocket team. So it just really goes to show how powerful a single fire team can be on this map. So the next map we're going to go ahead and look at is just called the Q. And uh, this map was, was, was a crazy, crazy experimental map. Um, I wanted to do kind of foreigner covenant hybrid architecture. And I really wanted to push uh, the boundaries of forge uh, geometry. Um, now I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I mean, there, there are some problems there. There's some spawning issues. And, you know, it's not quite as, quite as polished as transgressions, but it still plays really well and still a lot of fun to play with 12 players, where transgressions, I think, plays good with 12 to 16. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this map is that it's quite the opposite of Transgressions. It's actually tiny. It is very small first tier. Um, so lots of really, really crazy stuff going on. And even bigger emphasis on fire teams just because you really have to watch your back because elites will basically come from anywhere. You really have to stay with your buddy to take that objective. Um, 
you know, just just it's so so fast paced, a lot of fun. Um, and as second tier opens up, you even notice elites are still trying to push in the first phase, still trying to take you down, so you really have to stay on your toes. So I tried to do some uh, some kind of background architecture and add some interesting aerial, aerial vehicle gameplay. Um, and uh, Psycho Duck kind of lovingly refers to those towers that you see as uh, as C dicks, and uh, he won't ever leave me alone about them. Uh, so you can thank him for that reference. And actually, uh, it was cool that destroyed uh, C dick anyways. It was uh, actually Kango Sucker ended up helping with that, helping with that. So it's it's kind of cool to see how well. Uh, some of the areas in the map were influenced by other forgers um, and other past forgers of THFA. So, um, with the uh, second and third tier opens up, uh, you have a lot of uh, interesting gameplay with the core kind of being housed in this circular structure that's really inspired by, uh, by Spire um, and uh, just has a lot of interesting gameplay. And elites are really encouraged to be aggressive on this map, they want to push out. Where Spartans are really wanting to push, uh, to group up and focus on one side and try to pull the elites out of their power positions. Now, uh, me and Duck had a really great hog run this game. This was actually one of my most memorable uh, hog runs in, um, in Invasion, just because we were we were able to do so much damage this game. It's just a shame that we couldn't end up capturing the core in the end. So this just kind of shows you, I mean, just how different this map is from Transgressions because it just has a focus on really close quarters gameplay, mostly infantry combat with some vehicles in there, some vehicles going around. Um, the Falcon does come in play on this map, uh, but you have to be very careful. Generally, what I like to do with the Falcon is actually fly around the towers and uh, just try to avoid fire, try to avoid that plasma launcher. So yeah, at this point, um, me and Duck were just there like, how are we still alive? What, what is going on here? Because we were getting smashed uh, so bad this game and we ended up just having just such a fantastic hog run. Um, and this part, we were just, I, I think I was just yelling in my mic, what is going on? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this, this map was a ton of fun to play. I really got to thank everybody who joined our games. Even, I mean, we tested this so late in, in Reach's uh, lifetime. I mean, we were all still looking at Halo 4 footage. So it was really great to still have people jump in and get some invasion games. And I'm really hoping to get some uh, some new custom lobbies with the community. Maybe do some uh, throwback uh, invasion lobbies. Um, so you guys can watch out for that. But guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the maps. You can be sure to download them. You guys have a good one.